I want to do a short video on what trust is and why it hurts so much to get broken. <laughs> now don't worry, I'm, nothing's happened. I just find wordplay fascinating. So let's have a look at... Trust. Trust. So, so let's see what just the word on trust means. Now, firm belief in the reliability, the truth or ability of someone or something. Relations have to be built on trust. Acceptance of the truth of a statement without evidence or investigation. A lot of people do that, don't they? You know, don't take that person's trust. I think that's slightly different, but, you know, I'm still including it. So I use only primary sources, talking nothing on trust. The state of being responsible for someone or something. Literary, literary, a person or duty for which one has responsibility, like trust in law. And when I always see law, I always see wall. Because we do put a ring of, a wall of trust around us. And when that gets broken, I want to show you why you feel hurt and betrayed. So in law, it's an arrangement where by a person, a trustee holds property as its nominal owner for the good of one or more beneficiaries. A body of trustees, an organisation of company managed by trustees. And you can say archaic, commercial credit, archaic, a hope or expectation. And it just goes down to believing in reliability, truth, or the ability of. So it's going quite similar. Let's go down right down to the bottom. Archaic again, allow credit to a customer. Origin, supposedly from Old Norse meaning strong but it is to me it's faith so let's have a look at what faith means so here we go we have faith faith complete trust or confidence in someone or something this restores one's faith in politicians i highly doubt that one but you can see where it is why faith is so important it's a strong belief in the doctrines of religion based on spiritual conviction rather than proof. Uh, that's why a lot of people get triggered. So you can say faith is to me a better word for trust. It's when you break that faith. That's why it hurts so much to a lot of people. So you can see it talks about the religion and then the origin of it comes from fides, old French, Fad and faith. Now I want to show you something on fads now. Fides, obviously Latin Fides, was the goddess of trust and good faith bona fide, as we say in English in Roman paganism. The turtle dove is an emblem. So I didn't know that. I like the song Two Turtle Doves. And here she is appearing on a coin. She was one of the original virtues to be considered an actual religious divinity. And Fides is the bedrock of relationships or relations between two people or the community. So it's really significant. Trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in an effective communication. It's the foundational principle that holds all relationships. Stephen Covey. Now, just like Fides, you know, tr the truth, trust, faith. It's the foundation. It's the bedrock of anything in society. So once that is broken, is that why it's so hard to trust again? But there's more to it. I'm not going to read out now just why when your trust is broken, it feels so bad. So you guys know I love to play with words and sometimes split it up to see if I can find a hidden meaning. Remember, this is not fact. This is not is the truth. This is just my interpretation on what I found. Now, I'll be honest, if you do what you see on the screen now, it will not appear. So it's a good job I had this screenshotted and I've had it for a long time. So this is why when your trust is broken, it's so hard to get that trust back. If, if you can ever get it back, because it is what's going to be what I'm going to show you now. It it blew me away, and it's it, it is what it is. So if you typed into the the Latin convert trust, but split it up T R U a gap and S T, you get in Latin true sancti. Now 
Sancti, I knew what that was as soon as I saw it, and I went, wow. Now, Sancti, as you can see, Sancti is a plural of Sanctus. So, Sancti, which in the lack of a uh, split up of trust, is Sanctus. Now, what Sanctus is, and this is what will blow your mind away. So, what did it mean? Sanctus means sacred to consecrate to a point as sacred. Sanctus or sancta is sacred, made inviolable, having been established as sacred. So your trust, once you give it to someone else and vice versa, the reason it hurts so much when your trust is broken, not only is it a virtue and part of fides or fides from Rome, your trust is sacred. That just blew me away. So trust, even in the etymology of the word trust, it means sacred. That is just wow. So trust is like the truth. It's personal. That is why you is at the heart of it. You is in the middle. So that's why it hurts when you give someone your trust, whether it's, is it just in the community? It, does it make it feel more? Or is it personal? Is it relationships? Is it all the same? You're giving a piece of you to the other person. And when they break you, they're breaking your virtue. They're breaking your sacred part of you, your soul, your essence, your trust. It just blows me away. The energy, the frequency that you've handed over has been bastardized. And it's hard to... Be like cymatics to fix using words or spells to fix what was broken. So guys, that is basically what trust means and is. It's a sacred part of you that you give to someone else. And once it's broken, it's hard to get back if you can ever get that trust back. Remember, trust is key.